We're tracking new details this midday after two people are found dead in a home in Augusta. Police are still investigating, but say there is no threat to the public and they are not seeking a suspect. Cakes Jordan Shefty tracking this story and tells us this is Augusta's first murder in over three years. It's a very sad story. A husband and a wife are now dead. A little boy was caught in the middle of the argument. Police say that a dispatcher was able to talk that little boy out of a window to safety. A husband and a wife found dead late Thursday night in this home. Police believe a domestic violence situation resulted in a murder suicide. I came home from the gym last night and there's caution tape everywhere um, around their backyard. And so I didn't know what was going on. Went to the side of the house and there's like six police cars out here. But it wasn't a neighbor or even a passerby who reported this shooting, but rather a little boy calling from inside the home. He heard his mother screaming and multiple gunshots. He had locked himself in the bedroom, his bedroom. The dispatcher credited with possibly saving that boy through the instructions he gave. The dispatcher did an excellent job. I listened to a portion of the tape and I couldn't be prouder of that young man. Because of his forethought, the questions that he asked, he kept this, the boy calm. Uh, talked him into climbing out the window. Once on scene, police and sheriff's deputies declared an active shooting situation with hopes of finding someone alive inside. Unfortunately, that was not the case. The victims have been identified as 45-year-old Gary Weaver and 31-year-old Aaron Weaver. This is the first homicide in Augusta in three years. This is a very tragic uh, event that occurred here in Augusta last night. Uh, two people lost their lives and now there's a 12 year old boy that's got to live with that and uh, it's very tragic. An autopsy is scheduled for today for both of the victims. We will keep you updated as we learn any new information. Reporting in Augusta, Jordan Shefty, Cake News.